Good afternoon, guys. It's a little breezy out here. Today is February 22nd. We did not go to work today um, because the mulch yard's kind of moving to a new location. So we want to make sure they have all the same mulch that we need for this big job. Um, and the little job we're going to complete, we got to wait until they move to the new spot too. And I'm not fertilizing anything yet. We're putting out quotes right now, so Rachel's doing all that. So I'm going to take advantage of this time because it's going to be 62 degrees today to... Oh man, look, I'm a little off on my aisle there, but we're okay. <clears throat> what I'm trying to go for here is I made these aisles now four and a half inch, four and a half feet wide only because I'm going to be running my walk behind through here. So the goal is... By the time this bed's finished, it'll be a good seven to 10 inches higher than this side, the, the grass actually. This trench will be a little bit more pronounced and then I'll take my walk behind mower and I will mow this way with the chute flap. So the stuff blows like right along the edge and then I'll just put it in there uh, for certain rows because we're gonna use the grass as like a mulch maybe. Um, also, I think when I pile this row high, I'm going to get it pretty high and then I'm going to tamp this side down and I'm going to plant all down this side. I think I'm going to do strawberries instead of having them in pots only because they don't grow as well in pots. I don't think they get the right nutrients, the right amount of water. So we're going to do this all the way down to, you see that white pole there? And then I think I'm going to do the row across like I was saying earlier, maybe last video same like this but across the back and then we're gonna just do all the corn around and i think i'm gonna try to get this done today get this cleaned up prune back these apple trees cut any dead off get them so they're not hitting me when i'm edging and mowing this uh butterfly garden so we'll see if we can get that done i'm gonna let this gopro charge some and then when we start working on this flower bed here I'll take you guys along with me. For now, I need to set up another cage here only because they're almost done. They've only been in here two days. And look, they've turned a pile like this into flat ground. So I'm probably gonna get ready to move them. So I'm gonna add to this one all the way down and then we'll herd them back into there. And then we'll do that to the next aisle too. That was a lot faster than I expected them to get that done. So it's the next day guys. I got strawberries planted as you can see. I got some perennials planted. So what we're going to do is we're alternating perennials all down here. Like this is uh, um, some of the plants I've dug out of the garden. I'm going to dig up some of these torch lilies and separate them and put them out here. We lost a chicken this morning. I had gotten all of them into the pen here, closed it up. And then one of them flew deep into the bush over there and I just left it there because I couldn't climb and get it out of the bush and it, they're usually perfectly fine. We haven't had one get eaten in a while. And when Kayla woke up this morning, she heard a commotion and there were two dogs in our yard. And the dogs were from the people that live in that house all the way across that main road there. They must have gotten out of their electric fence and came down here. And because the chicken that was out isn't afraid of the dogs, because we have dogs and they're used to them, just sat here. And I guess the dog got a hold of it. It fought to get up here. And then we heard all the commotion. And by the time we got out here, it had already done what it was going to do to the chicken. So, and it was the one I'll show you after this that was laying in the dirt here when I was doing work yesterday. And yeah, I guess I should have got tried to get it out of the bush, but I didn't expect people's dog that came all the way from down there to come and attack them, any of our chickens in the yard. And we did call the sheriff because we didn't know what to do. We had one dog on a leash up here and the other dog had ran away all the way down the road and was running around through back here. And our neighbors over here said that she had seen the one dog trying to dig into this to get to the chickens into here. And, but they couldn't get in there, but the one chicken was out. And the sheriff said that the dog could be deemed a dangerous dog because it ate and killed one of our chickens if we wanted to 
pursue that, but I don't, I'm not going to have somebody's dog be considered dangerous, I guess, because it was going after the chicken. I mean, it sucks, but what are you going to do? I mean, we went up there and took the other dog back to the house and nobody answered the door. So I guess nobody was home, but there was all kinds of cars in the driveway. So we just left the dogs up there in their fence and I guess the sheriff went and talked to them. So hopefully they can keep the dogs from coming down here again. I'll just have to make sure not one of these chickens can escape. And they can't. It's just that when they got out yesterday when I was moving it. So I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna set you guys up to clean up the whole butterfly garden. So let's go ahead and do some work in here. I'm gonna re-edge it, probably re-spade it a little bit, cut down some of this stuff, clean out the dead and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get to work. So when you're edging, you have a choice to go this way or this way. Me personally, and this is just me personally, I think it cuts in a way better edge. When you turn the weed eater to the side, your guard's up, and you do this. Not full throttle, I'm only half throttle. See how it cuts in better? Versus, watch, if I go the other way, well, no, I'm not gonna, I just prefer to go this way. because this is my flower bed and I wouldn't do this at a client's house. out it's actually really nice out though um as far as like a day today was really nice 
look, the forsythia is blooming, guys. You know what that means? That means you should get your pre-emergence out. Um, I wanted to get an ending to this video. We ended up um, replanting all these torch lilies. I broke them off of clumps we've had in the garden. I've gotten that much done so far, so I'm not sure where I left off recording because it's been a couple of days now. I still didn't move the chickens. I'm going to move them into the next group of fences here because I want to get my raspberries and berries planted all along here. But what we're doing is, you guys seen I did the butterfly garden. I didn't spade it out yet, but I pruned all these apple trees too. The GoPro died. You guys didn't get to see that. I have buckets waiting down these branches. So it opens up the middle a little more. And then if you see in the other tree, I have a um, two by four. And slowly I'm gonna push that out and spread these branches out some more. And I'm gonna come and nip the tops off of these. But that's all I've gotten done so far. This was, we pulled this out, the torch lily. I separated them. Oh, I have a clump there. I put one clump in the bed, then I separated all the rest into those little pots. I'm gonna do the same thing. Like I said earlier in the video, all these rows are going to have flowers in between. And then in between these flowers is where we're going to grow like lettuce, kale, like vegetables and stuff like that. And tomatoes more likely are, are going to be on this back aisle going down because they grow higher. And we don't want them to shade out any plants growing in here. But I'm making pretty good progress, guys. Not too bad. But once again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment share and subscribe. And remember, be happy or at least try. Have a good night.